and there we go we are live welcome to this beginners class with me my name is Oliver sitting in Copenhagen Denmark no matter if you're with us live right now or you are on demand on demand make sure to join your first live class now it's so much more fun when we are live together live like Brie and, our, our, Brie and I am right now ready to kick some ass we got a beginners class ahead of us means we're gonna take it slow I'm gonna explain every single feature of Motosumo so there would be no doubt at all and with that said let's get going loosen up all of the resistance on your bike all of the resistance and then we add add a tap let's get the music going as well there you go all of the resistance off your bike and then we add a tap we add just a little bit of resistance so we prevent any injuries at all so enough that you can feel that there is some resistance what i like to say is that it should feel like riding a nice easy flat road maybe even with a little bit of head <laughs> tailwind not headwind a little bit of tailwind it should feel super nice super easy just rolling out there all right Bri, i'm looking at our rpms right now if you look down on your app in the bottom of your app you see a rpm number that means rounds per minute that means how fast we are moving those legs and as i said we are at resistance one we do have four resistances and if you look at your number it will show you a random number that's the app detecting how fast we are moving our legs right now my number is 88 if i move them a little faster above 90 and in between 90 and 100 that half circle will turn yellow that is what we call the yellow zone here in Motosumo. Yellow zone, and I would like us to hold this for one minute. I'm gonna put it on a timer for 60 seconds. Should be in the top of your app. You see a timer? We're gonna hold it for 60 seconds. Yellow zone, resistance, one. So, so far, so good. We do have four resistances, and we do have four zones. I, I will make sure to explain each, say every single one of those zones and resistances, so it's all good. There will be no doubt. We are just here playing, trying out Motosumo. Bri, come up with me, up into the yellow zone. Gonna add on some more RPMs. And at any time, if you feel that it's getting too tough, too much to handle, this is a beginner's class. Get off your bike, it's all good. Take a breathing, get on your bike when you are confident and comfortable to do so, it's all good. I wanna get every single one of you guys through this class with me. All right, that's the one minute. What we're gonna do now is adding on resistance, going into resistance too. So we're gonna add on just a little bit of resistance. What I would like this to feel like is riding on the same nice easy flat road but now there's a headwind and we also like to say that it should feel riding in sand or gravel same feeling just a little bit more resistance than resistance one but still super easy and super nice and i would like us to make that half circle turn green so green zone is in between 70 and 80 Five RPMs. That may, means we're gonna move our feet a little bit slower. Just a, a little, little bit slower. Isn't hurting, too hurting that much. Zone. There you go. I'm personally targeting 80 RPMs. That's the middle of the green zone. Let's go, guys. And you know what? To make it even easier, I'm gonna put on yet another timer. And you know what? Let's turn up that music. There you go. All right, one minute. Green zone, resistance two. Bree, are you still with me? Still with me, there you go. Still with me, let's rock and roll. We still got 40 seconds. There you go. Straight off my summer holiday, 
still enjoying it in Denmark. As I told Brie before class, it's not really that warm right now in Denmark. That's why my voice is a little bit sore. And also I did enjoy summer with a couple of beers, but that's all good. Sometimes the voice will get sore. And we're allowed to enjoy ourselves. Just make sure that we feel absolutely incredible in our bodies. That we sometimes move it a little bit to feel more fresh, energized. At least that works for me. Hopefully it will work for you as well. There you go. All right. Yet another time, we're gonna add on resistance. Now we're gonna try out resistance three, and we're gonna drop down our RPMs into blue zone. But first, let's add on resistance. Going into resistance three. Resistance three should feel like hitting a small hill. Not a steep climb, just a small hill. And we also like to say it should feel like riding in mud. We definitely feel some more resistance than resistance two. Blue zone is in between 50 and 65 RPMs. Brie is hitting it spot on. I do have an emoji for that. There you go. Spot on Brie. Blue zone. And what is also a good idea. If you've done classes with, with us before, or at least with me, you know that I tend to sweat a lot and you guys will often do so as well when the resistance and the RPMs is getting up there. We're gonna sweat. It's a good idea to have a towel next to you when we are riding and also some water. A water bottle is a very good idea as well. Today is only a 30 minutes class, but still, we still have time to drink a little bit. And if you didn't, choose or simply forgot to grab a water bottle and a towel in a moment i'll make sure to have a short period of recovery so you can quickly jump off your bike grab a towel grab a water bottle then we're ready to rock and roll all right resistance three blue zone right now we are sitting down but we do also have a position two which is standing up and i want us to go there for 30 seconds let's go stay in blue zone resistance three standing up three come with me fifteen more seconds Woo. three Two, one, sit back down, stay in blue. We're gonna do it one more time. Blue zone, resistance, three. Finding a rhythm. Last time, and welcome, Mar Maricela, Maricela. Oh. <laughs> I definitely didn't pronounce that correctly, but welcome, 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 welcome. I'm trying to find the right emoji. There you go, welcome. Priscilla, we are, Mar Ma okay, I'm gonna call it you Mary, cause I can't pronounce that one. I hope that's okay. We are at resistance three, blue zone. Right now we are sitting down, getting ready to standing up for 30 seconds. Who's ready? Bree, are you ready for a stand up? 30 seconds stand up. We're gonna stay in blue. We're gonna stay at resistance three for 30 seconds. Let's go. To the beat. Blue zone, resistance three. Don't overdo it. Go. With the beat, let's go, let's go, let's go. Awesome job. And in five, three, two, one. Sit back down for the last 30 seconds before we are hitting the recovery zone. That's a banger that is. All right. 
right, my friends. Slowly loosen up on the resistance. Going back down into resistance one. Resistance one, green zone. Just chilling. Because what I promised you a little while ago was a moment to go grab a water bottle and a towel if you need it. If you don't need it, just enjoy. 60 seconds of recovery. This is the recovery zone. Resistance one, green zone. Where we recover in between the top efforts. Today, we're not gonna go super, super high RPMs. Or at least we're gonna go there for short periods of time just to try it out. Feel how it should feel to go up there. And also with the high amount of resistance, we're gonna go there shortly, nothing too bad. So we're not gonna need a lot of recovery because we are going pretty easy today. But still gonna taste it. So far, we've been through resistance one, two, and three. So we still have four, resistance four to go, try out. And we've been through blue zone, green zone, and yellow zone. So that means, any guesses? Any guesses? What do we miss in terms of zones? I know what we're missing. Show me, what, do we, what are we missing? We're missing the red zone. Red zone push coming up, exactly where it is, Mary. Yeah, that's it, red fire. Red zone is in between 110 RPMs and 130 RPMs. There you go, I'm gonna put this one on. Who's ready to go there with me? What I would like us to do right now is pushing towards yellow zone in between 90 and 100 RPMs. There you go. I'm flexing the wrong arm. This one is much better. Oh, still pretty small. I don't know what's going on. Losing all of my muscles. Must be the summer holiday. All right. Right now we are in yellow, my friends. Get ready for a 30 second push into red zone. Building up towards a red zone push. Who's with me? Let's go. 30 seconds. Targeting 120 RPMs. Red zone, part A. All the way up there, Bree. Mary is in red. Bree, turning up the heat. There you go, we are all in red. Hold it for 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, and green. Green zone, back down into green, targeting 80 RPMs. We're gonna do it one more time, my friends. 80 RPMs, slowly building up towards yellow zone. 82, 83, 84, building up slowly towards yellow. When you feel comfortable and most importantly, confident to enter the yellow zone, you are allowed to do so. I'm at 88, 89. We are entering yellow zone in between 90 and 100 RPMs. Building up towards yet another 30 seconds red zone push. Last one. My friends, we're gonna do this. Let's go. Awesome job. Last red zone push of the day. Five seconds. And green zone. That is, that is it for the red zone. I just wanted you guys to feel the red zone. We, I promise you, we need to taste all the fe features and try out all the features of Motosumo. Red Zone is definitely one of my favorites. Right now, we are in green. So we've been through all of the zones now. So we are only missing one thing. That's trying out Resistance 4. Anybody got a good emoji for Resistance 4? You guys probably know 
how that feels. Resistance fall, the highest amount. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. All right, I, I do have a good one as well. Look at this one. Flying, going up there towards the steep, steep, highest mountains. That is what resistance fall is. Should feel like a really, really steep mountain. I don't know, Mary, why it should feel like a cake, but I'm, don't worry. <laughs> I don't get, I don't get it, but it's okay. <laughs> Maybe you're allowed to eat some cakes, cake afterwards. I, I, I buy that. All right, guys, slowly add on resistance. Going into blue zone, finding resistance fall should feel like the steepest mine, mountain that you that you ever been on. The highest amount of resistance that you can hold. And we are in blue zone. And I'm gonna put on a timer of two minutes. We are officially on this mountain climb. It's a two minutes climb. We are in blue zone. We are at resistance fall. And it's the only resistance fall work that we're gonna do today. It's one mountain of two minutes. Finding a rhythm. There you go. Maybe you've seen some, some Tour de France this year. This one is Adues. Steve Steve Mountain. Jonas Vingegaard, Danish friend of mine, just won it. He's not like a good friend, but I know him at least. <laughs> we are all super proud of him. So that's what it should feel like being on Adues with Jonas Vinegar. He's pushing the pace right now in blue zone. 60 RPMs. Targeting 60 RPMs. All right, my friends. With 30 seconds to go, I would like us to stand up for the last 30 seconds of the mountain. Pushing all the way to the mountain top. That means in six seconds, in three, two, one, standing up, stay in blue for now. And when the red timer hits 15 seconds, we're gonna push it up into green zone for the last 15 seconds in three, two, one, green zone, push. This is a nine out of 10 effort. Resistance fall, green zone for five more seconds. Let's go. Three and two, one, and loosen up on the resistance. Resistance one, green zone. Because you guys know what's always behind. Look at, listen to me. Can't even speak. Breathing hard right now, but that's exactly where I want us to be. Eight, behind every mountain, there's a descent. One minute descent, downhill. That means one minute, 60 seconds, green zone, resistance one. Enjoy it, my friends, we deserve it. All right. What I'm gonna put up next before our final efforts of the day is a small race. How do we feel about that? Marissa and Bree, we're gonna race at resistance two. Whew, exactly. Love that. Actually my favorite emoji. All right, I'm gonna put on a race. So when you feel comfortable doing so, add on resistance, going into resistance two, slowly add on resistance while I put on this race. And it's a race of two minutes. We're gonna race for two minutes at resistance two. That's, that also means we only do one race today. Make sure don't go all out the first 30 seconds. Two minutes is a long time, especially in resistance two, you can push quite high RPMs. So pace it correctly and have fun. Guys, two minutes at resistance two. Get ready, on your marks. Bree, are you ready? Mary, are you ready? I am ready. 
to rock with you guys. Let's get this. In three, two, one, we are Oi. racing, starting the race. Let's go. We are inside the last two minutes of this class. My friends, push as high RPMs as you can. The race is detecting your RPMs. So, this higher RPMs is higher, you guys are going. And we are racing at resistance too. One and a half minutes to go. All of us are in yellow zone right now. High yellow. That's a good job. And remember, resistance too should feel like riding in sand or gravel or being on a flat road but with a headwind. Woo, less than a minute. Give it your all. We are sprinting towards that finish line. 26, let's go. Sprinting now. Bree is in red zone. She got a strong sprint, that is. Let's go. So, so close right now. Almost head to head. Sprinting. Three, two, one. And loosen up on the resistance. Look at me getting in third. Bree and Mary Sella, you are incredibly strong. Resistance one right now, just chilling. Resistance one, congratulations. Congratulations. In that race. And I do have a small gift for you guys. There you go. Those are for you, my friends. We are looking at the last woo, efforts of the day. Welcome, Andreas. All right. Resistance one right now. Green zone, just chilling for 20 more seconds before we are hitting our final efforts of the day. That was incredible work. That was, woo, got me breathing hard. In eight seconds, we are adding on resistance. Going into resistance two, staying in green, so slowly add on resistance. What we have left today is a small build. We are building up all the way to the end of this class. That means we're gonna either build up on resistance or on RPMs. And what we're doing right now is building up on resistance. So we're gonna add on resistance. Resistance two, green zone for 30 seconds. Resistance to green, spot on. That is bullseye. You guys are hitting it perfectly. All right. In 15 seconds, we are adding on RPMs, going into the yellow zone. Starting out with targeting 90 to 95. That is the low end of the yellow zone. In three, two, one, let's go. Targeting 90 to 95. First, find the spot, the sweet spot of 90 to 95 RPMs, yellow zone. There you go, we are all there. Awesome job. Now, we do have 60 seconds. 60 seconds in between 90 and 95. Remember, we are building up all the way to the finish line, so no more recovery today. We're not going completely crazy as it is still a beginner's class, but we're gonna build up. And you guys got it. Already shown me how strong you are, beating me in a head-to-head -head race. Whew, didn't expect that. <laughs> oh, all right, we got this. 
Hitting it perfectly, 94, 93, and Bree is on 90, perfect. Awesome job, guys. In 15 seconds, we are adding on even more RPMs. Now, I would like us to stay in between 95 and 110. So we are still in yellow, yellow but still adding on RPMs in three, two, one, 95 to 110. That means we're going a little bit faster with our legs and for 60 seconds, let's go. We are almost at that finish line. No more red zone today, I promise you that. In between 95 and 110 RPMs, yellow. You can hear it, the crowd is going wild. Finish line is nearby. In 20 seconds, what's going on Andreas? Love it. Kiever is with us as well. In 15 seconds, what's going on? Is the last effort of the day. We're gonna start out with 45 seconds in green zone at resistance three. At resistance three. So in three, two, one. Going into green zone, but at resistance three. We are adding on resistance for this final effort of the day. Guys, we are getting there. Green zone, resistance three, final efforts of the day. Let's get it. You've done amazingly so far, but we, we, we want to get all the way to that finish line. Quar crowd is going wild. You can smell the finish line. They got beers for us. They got cake for us. We just want to get there. 20 more seconds. Resistance three, green zone. And as I promised, this is a build. So in 10 seconds, the last build. It's a 30 second push, pushing into yellow zone, staying at resistance three. In three, two, one, 30 seconds. Yellow zone, last push of the day. Yellow zone, resistance three. This is a nine out of 10 effort, guys. Hardest effort that we've done so far. And we're gonna save it for the last push of the day. 10 more seconds, guys. We want to get there, eight. It might hurt right now, but in three seconds, it's all done. Two, one, and resistance one, my friends. Resistance one, just chilling, let your legs spin. Nice and easy, amazing job. Maricela, awesome job. Bree, awesome job, you guys. Was here from the get-go, Kiever and, and Andreas. You joined the party late, but at least you joined it. Awesome job today. All right, let's do some light, light stretching together. What I want us to do is pushing that left heel towards the ground. Left heel towards the ground, hips forward. Guys, hope you enjoyed that just as much as I did. This was a beginner's class, so we didn't do anything crazy, but you had got to experience all the amazing features of Motosumo. If you want to try any of our other amazing classes, we do have stronger together classes, endurance games, and we do have other amazing instructors at will. Make sure to try that. And let's switch the legs. We do also have a Facebook and an Instagram community at, at Motosumo. You can find me on Instagram as well. I do have classes Tuesdays and sometimes Thursdays as well. So make sure to join them and get that stretch all the way. That one is good. All right, guys, that is it for today. One last thing that I want you to do, exactly Marcella, is press pause in the upper hand right corner and then save this workout. So you got all the amazing data that you just produced safe inside the app. And really, that's it for today. Guys, amazing job. It's all love from me here in Denmark. My name is Oliver, signing off. Awesome job today, guys. Bye. There you go, bye, amazing job.